हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो ग्रेट थ्री कैटरैक्ट विच इज कंसिडरेबली हार्डर and i have used the technique of echo aspiration where i am not going to do any chops or divisions i am doing going to echo and aspirate the nucleus uh, in toto so uh, whether this should be the technique of choice for these grade of cataracts so generally i have used it in grade 1 and grade 2 cataracts where i could do a good hydrodelineation and then prolapse the nucleus out but here you can see it's a grade 3 cataract I was able to prolapse the one pole of the nucleus out. The rexis was good, five millimeters, which is essential for this technique. And I'm going to use bevel down or bevel sideways using the balance tip. And as you can see here, I have gone to the quadrant removal mode where I have kept a linear vacuum up to 550, and I'm going to use torsional vacuo up to 60. uh you can see the tip is sideways and i am attacking the periphery of uh, this large nucleus it is a bulky nucleus because it's almost grade 3 cataract the trick here is to use the energy very efficiently the feco is being done little anterior to the iris margin there and if you note on the right top hand side you can see the cd which is indicating that i am going to use this much of energy during the feco and you can see i am going to use it very judiciously my feco tip is right at the center most of the time and i am attacking periphery of this nucleus so kind of i emulsify start emulsifying from the periphery towards the center as the piece becomes smaller and smaller it becomes easier to emulsify it further i am not trying or attempting to chop this piece and i am going to emulsify it completely without any chopping maneuver so that makes it much easy to do and also much quicker and you will find that because i am attacking the substance of the nucleus also very efficient so that three important things apart from large cc's and nucleus prolapse is keeping the tip steady at the center controlled feco energy so you should have very good control on your foot switch and always protect the endothelium with good dispersive ovd for this technique my choice here is hylocot which is combination of chondroitin sulfate and the hyaluronate which protects the endothelium very nicely in this technique so i have been using this technique for these even grade 3 cataracts so right from grade 0 to grade 3 i try to utilize this technique if i get a good ccc and i could prolapse one pole of the nucleus out and how does uh, this affect the endothelium you can see the post surgery just two hours after the surgery the corneal picture and this is what i see in all my patients that uh, these patients are quite happy with the immediate post operative vision as well and the cornea you can see is crystal clear of course i must emphasize you must use a good dispersive ovd to protect the endothelium for this technique but i think you should try it because it makes the things much simpler much faster as well as safer for the patient thank you